Hey you, what is going on everybody? Welcome, welcome to another WWE 2K17 news video. Now, we had the cover reveal trailer yesterday and we had a lot of things confirmed from that trailer. If you saw the trailer, first and foremost, clearly Brock Lesnar is confirmed for the game as he is the cover star. But during the actual trailer, 2K did a fantastic job teasing a bunch of things that are to come in the game, especially members of the roster. Now, some of them are pretty obvious, but it's worth the recap and it's worth reporting it. So the first thing that we see is Brock Lesnar and we are headed to Suplex City. We are getting the invitation from the narrator who is none other than Paul Heyman. So the first glimpses that we get is of the Bro Kick Saloon and also the Spinner Rooney. Obviously the Bro Kick related to Sheamus and the Spinner Rooney related to Booker T. We also get their Rio imports and export on the opposite side of the Spinner Rooney. So their Rio coming back since he was not in WWE 2K16. And Paul Heyman starts mentioning Nain right after that. Be like The Undertaker. Be like John Cena. Be like Seth Rollins. Be like Goldberg. So two more names right there. And that is The Undertaker and Seth Rollins. Now when it comes to the people who are being mentioned. Keep in mind that Brock Lesnar had matches with all these guys during the last year or so. Them being The Undertaker of course. John Cena. Seth Rollins. When it comes to Goldberg. The last match that Goldberg had in the WWE was against Brock Lesnar. Now, the 26th second mark, we see a small poster of the Stone Cold Steve Austin skull. Now, this poster is seen a couple of times throughout the trailer. So, of course, Stone Cold will be one of the legends in the game. Not that we doubt it, but yet again, just letting you guys know since these are just little Easter eggs. After that, we see the Big Show menswear. So, if you're planning on going to Suplex City, you better get big because otherwise you won't be able to wear any clothes because they're going to be XXL. And we get another Suplex City billboard. At the 30 second mark, we also get the Dean Ambrose logo on the wall. We get the Wyatt Family sheet mask, the Bro Kick saloon doors. Once again, they open up and we get a goat face at the 33 second mark. Now, the goat face most likely related to Team Hell, no. As we know, Daniel Bryan is the goat face, so Daniel Bryan will be in the game and most likely Kane as well, of course. Again, I know that these are some obvious stuff, but it's pretty cool that 2K took some time to put them in. And then we get to the end of it welcome to suplex city pre-order now in stores october 11 for ps4 ps3 xbox one and xbox 360 and that is about it for the trailer it was a pretty dope trailer they definitely took some time to actually make the trailer i am 100 percent sure that i missed a couple of stuff so let me know down in the comments below anything else that you guys found i know that when the saloon door opens there's a lot of posters to the right and one of them is the stone coast skull which i mentioned and another big show poster other than that everything else once you zoom in it's kind of hard to figure it out but the last question that i do have based on this trailer is that are we gonna get a brock lesnar showcase it definitely looks like it after all whoever is in the actual cover over the past couple of years has been showcased some way somehow in the story mode but anyways guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think sorry for this video coming out late but i barely had any time it kind of sucks but anyways guys thank you guys for watching we on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Much to see y'all. Dig it.